Okay, guys, just for curiosity's sake, I wanted to do uh, an evaluation on properties that have sold in the last uh, two years that were anywhere between 4,000 and 7,000 square feet built between 2005 and 2017. And in the last 730 days, which is two years, and I wanted to look at this area right here and look at all the sales uh, because um, if you've got a person telling you that uh, that house uh, over on 9th Avenue is worth somewhere around 1.6 million, I'm really curious to see uh, where they would get any kind of comparable for that. So, um, so let's have a look at the first one on the list. Uh, we got one, 1.3, that's 4,300 square feet. And, uh, this one here had three bedrooms, four, four bathrooms. The lot was a 50 by 43 meter lot, uh, with no back lane. So it was a fairly narrow lot. And let's look at some finishing. It's not bad inside, but it's not going to have any open to below at 4,000 square feet. The footprint on the main floor is rather small. So it means the basement size is small. We're talking about 1,800 square feet on the main floor. So let's go up. And that's 4,300 feet. Here's another one. 4,200 feet in Springbank. Sold for 1.46 million. That one there is on Elmont. Let's look at that location. Okay, so Elmo, right on Elmo Drive, it's an odd shaped lot. Because the lot means a lot to the price as well, right? So 16 meters wide by 43 deep. And uh, let's have a look. So four bedrooms up, six bedrooms total. Uh, there's a fully finished walkout there at 4,000 feet. Front area. Smaller rooms. Smaller kitchen, eating kitchen with no bar. It's a nice house, but it's nowhere near the house you were looking at on 9th Avenue, which now has an, has an offer. There's the master. Smaller rooms, no ensuite bathrooms off of the bedrooms. So a feet area in the open. The 4,000 square feet. Let's move it up here. So now we got one at 1 1.6 million, 4,100 square feet. And this one was in 2000, uh, 2000 sold in 2006. How many bedrooms do we got? We've got four bedrooms up, five bedrooms total. There's your walkout. It's a walkout basement. Double garage, keep in mind. There's your kitchen. Got two islands in it. Sub zero fridge. Nice pantry. Just want to see if there's anything that really sold that would compare. So if there's your master. Office space, basement, nice house. Four bedrooms, five bedrooms total. And that one, 89 days to sell, 4,195 square feet. Let's look at the lot on this one. Odd shape lot. Yeah, 
Yeah, so it wouldn't have much land left because it was 38 on one side only, but this is all cut off on the corners. Okay, let's keep going here. We got one here that sold on Spirit Ridge and Springbank Hill, 4,900 feet, 1.6. We got four bedrooms up, four bedrooms total, 2,400 square feet on the main floor. Where's your main floor? None of these are gonna have bathrooms like you had on the other on the other property where you looked and saw bathrooms on switch up every bedroom. On suite's nicer. Nice vault on the upstairs. Got a small bonus room. Backyard's nice. Built 2008, 4,900 feet. No basement. Unfinished basement there. Four thousand feet for this one, a two-story triple garage. Four bedrooms up. Let's look at the main post square footage, twenty-one hundred feet. So you're dealing with um, 900 square feet more, and that's a substantial amount with that house we were looking at. So this one here looks like it was a foreclosure. So it doesn't have much of a lot behind no landscaping. Okay, so again, all of these lots are smaller lots. So this one's a, this one's not bad actually. This is 18 meters wide, by 42, but it was a foreclosure. So back onto other houses. 18. So like we call that a 70 70 foot lot. No, that's like 65 feet. But still, I mean, it's still not that big of a lot. So Aspen Meadows Manor, 4,000 feet. We sold for 1.74. Finishing quality in some of these is amazing at 4,000 feet. And those are 1.6. They're not 6,000 feet. Nice finishing everywhere. What year was it built? 2006. Pretty nice. Five bedrooms, seven total. Back last year. Triple car garage. But again, the lot size would be 15 by 15, so it's a narrow, small lot, 15 meters wide. Now we're getting closer. We saw this one. We chose not to go see this. We saw it online. We chose not to see it. It was 4,400 feet. Still haven't reached anything 6,000 feet. Here's one in Elvenden, they're 4,500 feet, 1.79. When do we get anything? When do we get anything that's sold at 6,000 square feet? 
There's another one. So this one's 4,300 feet. Four bedrooms. So 4,400 feet with this one. 1 1.8. I'm still looking for a comparable that's even close to the size of that house with a with a garage that's as big. 4,000 feet. 4,400 feet. 1.9. Another 4,000 square feet at 2 million. 4,000 square feet. Still, still we haven't found anything yet. 5,000 feet at 2.2. Now this one, you know, is worth the money. It's got a view lot. I'm open the below space. Now we're 4,100 feet. So we don't have a lot of properties that are, that are as big. Like we don't have, and we don't have those lots, right? Those bigger lots. 4,400 feet. It's 2.5. 5,000 feet. That's going to reach close. 2.5. 5,500 feet, 2.5. 4,000 feet, 2.7. 4,600 feet. So we have nothing at 6,000 feet. Zero in two years that actually sold. That was that large.